who is Juan Ordaz? Um, where can I start? Juan Ordaz is a guy born and raised in Milwaukee on the south side. Dad's from Mexico. My mom is from Puerto Rican origins. And they came together and we got the best of both worlds. And at the moment, I currently run a family owned business that has been in operation for over 25 years. Uh, we've been going strong thanks to our good loyal customers and uh, where we work is uh, Las Palmas Western where you can find here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, what I think got me interested in boxing, I've always been a fan of boxing. Um, before I got into the sport, I would always watch on YouTube mm, fights from Julio Cesar Chavez, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali. Yes, I mean, that I've always been a fan. My dad, uh, growing up with my dad, uh, we'd be watching those those big fights with Oscar de la Hoya. So, I mean, that's, that's always been a part of my life uh, as an upbringing. But what actually got me into the sport itself was actually through my sister. Um, I thank her um, inviting me over to the gym and uh, I was just going to go for you know for a workout but then one thing led to another and and now <laughs> I'm in it. I'd have to say hands down my biggest inspiration uh, to this day and for the rest of my life will be my father. Juan Orla Sr. He has embodied what is, I'd say, uh, a man. I mean, a man coming up from literally rags to establishing himself and a business and raising his four children to get an education and providing a roof and food on their table. Uh, He's done it all, he's uh, my superhero, and I, he's always gonna be someone I look up to for inspiration. And on the boxing side, I'd say Mike Tyson, Iron Mike, will be my, my inspiration because uh, like my dad, small town kid coming up from uh, a, no, a no name town, uh, making a name for himself. I mean, coming from rags to riches, um, fighter like my dad, both fighters. So, uh, as, and it's always a show to watch. Uh, Mike uh, in the ring. It's always it's always putting on a good show, and I like his style. I like his uh, ferocity. He's a savage, and that's what I want to uh, embody as well. Being a fighter is is going after it. You know, um, seeing it in your in in your vision in your mind and laying down the path to reach that goal and overcoming obstacles and and those fronts that you have to you know get by that's that's being a fighter um, and and I love to fight you know I love to fight in the ring I love to fight out I mean I have I have goals I have um, ambitions that I want to reach and I know what I have to do to reach those goals, and I know what sacrifices I have to make, and that's what it means to me to be a fighter. Well, I can tell you right off the bat that um, I'm nervous, you know, because never in my life I would have pictured myself in this situation. Uh, when I started back in March, I only went for workouts. I, I was I was on the goal to lose weight, which I did in the process. But then uh, I come to find out that uh, within the gym they hold a, uh, I guess you want to say like a, an event uh, called Fight Night, and uh, I happened to be selected, and. Uh, I'm stoked about it. I'm hyped. I feel like from since March up until now, I've made a lot of progress 
as far as training, as far as uh, my goals and, and, and weight loss. And, and what better way to exhibit my progress than in the ring with my opponent, which seems to be up to par, you know, with his his uh, training and and his physique. He's uh, he looks like a formidable opponent. We are both new, um, as far as you know, like um, in the ring fighting. I mean, you can call it officially, unofficially. Um, I've seen him train. He's uh, he's got a lot of stamina. He's he's uh, looks like he lifts a lot. I lift too, so we're gonna see who's gonna who's gonna dish out the the most punishment. And uh, I can't wait, can't wait for that night. We're gonna see what uh, the fireworks gonna look like. Uh, I've been putting in the work. Um, put in a lot of work uh, to be honest this is the most work I've put in uh, at, at this age that I have ever put in um, years prior um, since I started back in March I've lost about 35 close to 40 pounds and that's the most weight I've ever lost in, 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 in than years prior so that you know all comes down to just training and, and what I do and what I've been consistently been doing is uh, going to the gym, you know, uh, mainly dropout uh, gym is where we go train, um, work on our cardio, heavy bag hitting. Um, I do a lot of running as well. I mean, all of these accumulate into a regimen where we're if you apply it consistently, you will see the results. And I think that's key. Consistency is key. And when you're consistent, you see results. And when you see the results, you just keep going. I mean, because because they're right there. You see it. It's noticeable. I've, I've dropped a couple pant sizes down. And I think I might go down another one. But I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I want to stay at this weight. I feel, I feel good. I feel light. Um, I feel strong. Um, nutrition wise too uh, I've been eating differently um, before you know I'd, we'd all hit up the uh, fast food restaurants or the taco truck uh, that, those bad habits eliminating those bad habits recognizing them first and then eliminating them and then establishing new habits uh, that are healthy habits and then just training your mind teaching yourself that these these meals are good for you you know and and if you keep eating them you know you'll, you'll feel this way and i think a uh, third and most important component is sleep and rest people say that you know pride themselves live uh, working off of you know four or five hours of sleep uh, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice um, and I've become more knowledgeable on, you know, on, on the importance of sleep. And for me, I mean, pushing it is, is seven hours. You know, I try to get seven hours and if I have to let something go for the next day, I will. But sleep for me is, it has to be the third most uh, important component of, of getting prepared for this fight night. Thank you for buying your tickets to fight night and uh, for supporting uh, this gym that has helped me reach my goals and in, in fitness and that could potentially help uh, you as well or any of your family members or loved ones you don't necessarily have to be a boxer to join uh, the gym and all you have to all you need actually in general is um, the motivation and, and, and the want to, to change. So uh, thank you for, for your support. And I know I have my little fan base that, you know, has already confirmed with me that they've got their, their tickets. And uh, I thank you as well for, you know, having my back and, 
showing me love and and support throughout throughout this journey um, my goal here is to put on a good show for you guys and uh, make uh, those tickets uh, that you purchased uh, worthwhile and uh, i can't wait to see you there fight night let's get it